Uh, hello everyone. <laughs> I know it's been a while, a while, a while. Um, but I just wanted to take some time to make a video pointing out mental health awareness. Um, I wasn't asked to do this video, I just felt moved to do so because I know there's a lot of people out there that struggle with this, including myself, my mother, my grandmother, it runs in the family. You know, and I know a lot of people say, well, why don't you just see a therapist? Why don't you just see a psychiatrist? Why don't you just get on medication? And those things are good. You know, those things are really good. God put those, you know, people here on earth to make that option available for us. And although those things are available, it's still a struggle. Um... I struggle with it on a daily basis, and it's not something that's just daily. It happens when you sleep. Um, certain things trigger it. Certain people may trigger it. Um, when it comes to relationships, you have to really be with someone that's um, patient and understanding of your situation in order for them to cope, help you deal with it. Um, and also just daily issues that can occur, whether it be with work, friends, family. Um, it's pretty much like a tater tot, I guess you can say. Like you're, you're constantly, your mind's constantly doing this and you're constantly trying to get your mind here. Um, so I just want to make this video to let you guys know you're not alone, I can relate. Um, one of my worst experiences with this is seeing my mom in the ICU for a week almost um, attempt to suicide because of the mental illness that she struggles with. You know, my mom takes medicine, five pills a day, you know, just, just to cope you know, just to get through. And that was probably one of the worst experiences of my life, seeing my mother hooked up to tubes and not being able to eat or breathe on her own. Um, so uh, I just want anyone out there that's struggling with this to just know you're not alone. You're not you know, you're not an outcast, you're not a loner. There's different things and ways of coping and everyone has their own niche, I guess you can say. Um, ways I've learned to cope would be, you know, exercise, trying to eat better, um, finding certain hobbies and things that I enjoy. You know, I had to let go of drinking because that was definitely a struggle, you know, it was a band-aid, you know, it was my way of feeling like I was dealing with it, but in all reality, I was just masking the situation. Um, writing, reading, uh, meditating, just different ways to kind of keep my mind balanced. It's really a struggle. Um, sometimes I find myself in situations where I can't handle it. Um, and those are times where you just pretty much need to just take time to yourself and, and regroup and refocus. Um, sucks. It really does. It sucks. But I just want you to know I'm here for you if need be. Uh, this is, it's just, it's, it's a new journey for me you know I'm not relying on alcohol I'm not relying on someone else relationships um, drugs I'm just really trying to take control and do things on my own anyone out there that can relate um, this is not a cry for help really I'm not trying to scare anyone um, 
it just it just helps to know that someone's going through the same thing as you and you're not alone um so yeah mental health awareness it definitely is an issue and something that needs to be brought out into the light more and talked about more um <laughs> it's pretty much my little journal, you know. I love myself. I love my friends. I love my family. I try to support anyone and everything to the fullest. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't really think I have anything else to talk about at the moment. <laughs> but I do appreciate everyone that supported me been there for me friends family even people i don't know so anything i can do to help bring more awareness to the situation i'm all ears i'm down for it (laughs) so i love you guys i appreciate you guys and that is all this is my journal This is my little outlet. I pray for you. I pray for me. I pray for everyone. 